Now next is a very a good function which is RS reset set and SR set reset functions. These are very much used and widely used in home IO applications I'll be showing you. So this function you may find here RS okay this is your RS function. Now what happened what is this RS what is reset and set? So this is also a bitwise operation so I need to take a bit here source bit okay connecting it to set and another source bit connecting to reset and at output we can see actuation at this bit now what this bit says if you have a pulse to the set a pulse means or any signal like if I press this on and press it off this is a pulse okay by getting a pulse here it will latch the output now latch means it will hold the output it will turn on the outputs it will latch it this will not be off this will only be off if you have a signal at reset okay then this will be off so by pressing this set again just once this will be on if I press this this will be off but what is this reset set RS RS means if you press both then reset has a dominance over this functions it will reset the output okay reset is more dominant than set in this function RS functions okay this is to set and reset the output to latch or unlatch the output now in in the other one which is SR you might have understand this is a set dominant okay let's take the same input here and connect this to do to the set and this one here to the reset let's take another bit and there's one output in this case this is set dominant if both inputs are on, output will be set. Otherwise, it works the same. Press it once, release it, output will be large. Press it once, release it, output will be unlarged. But if you press both, output will be set. In this case, if you press both, output will be reset. That is the difference between SR, SR, which is set reset, and RS, reset set function. This has reset domination, this has set domination. And this will be widely used in many of the control applications, many of this. Because you have sensors here which will give you a signal, give you just a pulse. But that pulse signal you want to latch something you want to latch a motor or a solenoid or an alarm that is where it is used and if you are from a programming background you might understand yes this is a very good application very good functions to use in many applications rs and sr okay so let's see what we we can do next in next video we'll see some more functions of connect io thank you